Pokemon Trainer Tilde on the Falco, of course. And this only happened because of the fact that Axel got the W over Tilde, because Tilde was definitely seated to win that. And yeah. if he got to Mars, that could have gone Tilde's way, because he's beaten him the last few times that he's fought. Right, so right. there's a very good potential that could have gone that way. But XL gets the W, and now has to fight up against Bees. Both of them coming in from the Tri-State, but only one of them is walking away from this. All right, I just hope that we can get some revenge. Both these players had uh, very funny instances of watching the other get bodied in doubles. They did end up winning the event, though, so it all worked out. But I definitely, I loved watching the look on their faces, watching their team get destroyed. It was funny because Light got up and he was just laughing. It's like, bro, oh, I'm, I, I'm better. But he, but ended up going down. They got it in a 3-0 fashion yep. too. So that was really dominant. Something we won't see too often is that Ivy Sword for good reason because of what just happened. Right. But right. we also don't see the Squirtle often from Beast because his strong suit is definitely that Zard. We've right. known Beast for that Zard for years between 4 and to now. It, but the Squirtle is a good call against Spaceys. It's such a quick character. The short hop game, the fares, and the poke options are really good. And then you get to the Ivy Sword to get that big downer. Yeah, Squirtle's a little bit of a scrapper, man. I would, it's hard to say he's underrated because everyone I talk to loves him, but like I think he doesn't get enough love. The characters are good. I'm glad we got Quib putting in work and Atelier. Right. Also, both of them have ridiculous Squirtles. Yep, yep. So I'm glad that we're finally hey. getting to see how stupid that character Speaking is. Speaking of ridiculous, this is a really good start for Beast to try and even it up. I have seen My, Beast hit these yep, every yeah, he always hits single them. time. Every time. If he missed, you lucky. Like, yeah. that is not a common thing that happens here. But Tilde not missing a beat as well. Immediately closing it out, shaking it off as soon as he got that KO and holding on to another strong lead. This is going to be a game. This is going to be a set for sure. I'm excited already. Oh, the up tilt actually not working out. I like the idea from Bees, but it's going to be Tilde's mm -hmm. combo from coast to coast. And a oh, good and patience, counting. too. He sees, he sees Beast is swinging out of disadvantage a lot because he wants to get out of these combos, but he's answering. Oh, this could be big. Oh, he got the jump. No, he oh, didn't. Okay, okay I, I thought he had the jump there. That could have been an early stock uh, if he was able to catch him on the up E. Exactly. Nice little grab here. Oh, big good match. That was important. I'm but so right surprised back. that up here missed, bro. Right. Like, how? That thing is huge. What? What? <laughs> Now, it's definitely auto-canceled at the last second. I'm trying to hype it up. But <laughs> now Charizard is out. This is another steal opportunity, too. Ooh, speaking of which, this is side B. Oh. Catches the air dodge. Covers him on a down air, but he got set to center stage. Dash cancel. Half tilt, too. So Beast good. getting right back in it. That pressure is huge, and I have seen Beast hit these. Uh, we'll count that one. We'll look, count that look, every single time. Tilde knows that he hits him, so he right, just is right. like, look, you got it. Uh -huh. You got it. Let's just, I'm going to save myself the clip. Let's move on to this last stock. Huge back throw. Okay, I was like, oh, back I throw, back air? That's going into montage. That was beautiful. I love the mix-up of going for flame, uh, flamethrower there yes. instead of the back air because you know he's going to match air dodge, so you cover man air dodge right, in, right. and then he gets him. But right now, he's currently having a bad go of it because he's on last stock. He's got to watch out for an oh. up tilt or an up smash. Perfectly executed by Tilde. Yeah, honestly, down to the wire, though. All the percents may tell a different story. But that was just some good patience from Tilde at the ledge there. Probably expecting an offensive option. I think we saw a lot of them, mm -hmm. frankly, in that first game. But it's tough to be in that situation and not want to scrap. Like, yeah. you want to get... You want to get on stage, you want to get some damage, back air, or like from the down air perhaps, something. But Tilde was ready, good patience, and solid response with the up smash. Yeah, we, all know, we all know Tilde's opinion on uh, not scrapping with him as well. And he made that apparent too with his counter picks because he did ban FD and Kalos. He wants to be up close and personal, especially up against these two because every time we saw Beast get a little bit too aggro, he usually walked out on top. I liked when Beast was covering the... Re not questionable, but like the rather preemptive defensive options that he was choosing just yeah. to get out of what would be a combo from Pokemon Trainer. So if he can maximize that, if he ever gets a chance to actually play the game, I'm saying, then he'll be good. <laughs> the options that Beast like just had to witness while getting comboed, I, I'd feel bad. Mm -hmm. Like Tilde put some crazy stuff together. That side B early on in the combo is a little bit of a mix up crazy stuff. Yeah, you see, he's trying to play grounded right now because like Tilde is showing his hand. He wants to play short hop air to air game. Right, he's trying right. to beat you with that forward air. The, dude, every time he gets that down air into, like, like he, he never misses the follow-up. Like, he always has a plan, whether it's either instant back air or he has a mix-up ready for you on an air dodge. Tilde is insane with his accuracy on down airs. This is going to be tough. You're going to make it backstage, but, like, I don't know, man. 142 just from, like, a couple of openings and one very extended edge guard. It's going to be tough. Big roll, but gives up stage control, trying to put the pressure on. Honestly, with that whole scramble, yeah. I'm going to center stage. Like, oh, same, like same. box to center stage, because if you get hit, you're going to eventually get hit by the up tilt, right? So you try to mitigate that by making sure you don't die at least to it. But these side Bs are going to force them to have to go low. This is an opportunity for Beast. Ah, uh, yeah. That's, I'm going to say it's not even an opportunity. Falco is that Bro, let me get the down air, okay? I'm trying to pop off on the down air. Okay. <laughs> I got mine. That's all that matters. <laughs> and you got, yeah, you got to cash in on yours. I'm trying to see it. Oh, what? Huge. Okay, so now I see. 
I see why. Who does that? Who does? He just rolls off the ledge, was yeah. staring down at, at, at Falco at kill percent, and did a falling up air. You are brave, and I love it. After what? just dying to it in the last game, too. <laughs> That's just confidence. They are going to take it 199. Really holding on to that first stock. Yeah, not too much. <laughs> I wish y'all saw Devin's impersonation of Falco Nair just a second ago. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. What? Uh, still, really good job of damage mitigation until now. He's getting hit a few times, but he only got 30% right, out of right. that previous stock after he ended up SD. All right. Big down tilt. Mixed him up with the down tilt the other way. Definitely on purpose. Just part of the combo game. Mm -hmm. there you oh, go. okay. I like the use of the side B there. Move kind of bad, but why they never expect it. True. Yeah, you, every once in a while, it's a good option. Right. You, got, you got to hold on to it, though. Good air dodge coverage on the up smash on the way down. Beast has been doing so good Huge. since his run. Oh, empty jump top. Dude, Tomahawk back throw after running up on him with Charizard. Yep. You don't expect that. Okay, nice use of the tilts here. Trying to space out Falco. Keep him out of that aerial range. Good patience, too. They're trying to poke each other out. Just trying to find an option, hey. and that is a very quick option right there. He want, like, that goes either way. You get the downer, he doesn't die, but you get your damage, but the moment he catches it... Oh, double? Is he dead? Oh my wow. god! Okay, what a cash out coming in from Tilde. That was beautiful. That is just what I love to see every time I commentate a Tilde set is the how far can he take it? You know, it's just insane to see those conversions turn into stocks. No matter what, like you said, one straight hit, all of a sudden Tilde is halfway down the flow chart. Like I already know what's mm -hmm. up next. I already know what the next three steps are. A little bit of a tech chase. Dude, his maximization of damage, like you were talking about, one straight hit equals so much. Right, right. Right, right now, like, very, very good spot. Pretty much for both of them. Trying to find center stage. Even though 75, you're getting them that much closer to Ivysaur Cheese. Like, you can kill him soon. Yeah, you got to switch, though, because Squirtle was dying probably to yeah. that back air. Definitely not going to kill him with no Squirtle Cheese at 60. So, time to get the Ivysaur out. Going to be tethering back to ledge. We're going to need a little bit of a crazy move coming up. This is it. This, those are all crazy moves. Yo, he's catching a lot of air dodges from Tilde right now, but Tilde on the offensive trying to get back in. Now, you can't really do that as much because up smash is ready to go. Ooh. And he doesn't get the up smash because he was out of position for the side B. Bro, oh whoop. my god, no. You Bye. <laughs> <laughs> I 100% thought that was a miss input at first, but Beast knowing his Windows of when that's gonna shield break. Do you do we, okay? Do we truly believe? Let's look at how close that shield was. It was right? like ha he had like, half shield, like it was definitely gonna break. Dude, I that was that didn't look like it was low nah. enough to break. If you have like anything less than like 75%, that, that moves, bro. Your back hurt. I'm saying we'll be seeing him for sure. That's, there's no <laughs> we'll way we see the chiropractor real soon. Is that that one. on stream? Shout out to Devin. Was that you? <laughs> no, that was Devin. Okay. <laughs> and there he goes. Me too, Falco. It's been one of those days for sure. Oh, beautiful, beautiful job there from Beast. You know, I was going to say something about that situation, but I'm not going to. Okay. Game the next time. Right, <laughs> <laughs> Get into this next game here. One to one. Very solid gameplay going on right now. Yep, yep. I, I, honestly, I'm really loving the adjustment from Beast as well. But that still was Beast kind of struggling a bit in the early game where he worked it back mostly because of his KO power. A lot of it right. came on the out of shield game from Charizard. You wish you had that right now because you're currently getting hit a bunch on these down airs and yes. doing nothing about it. Exactly. <laughs> and like, that's how it's just playing to the strengths of the character, of course. You know, you have to kind of just take your beatings, you know, take those Falco combos, but you just have to make it up when it matters the most, when those stocks, you know, when you have to take those stocks. Mm -hmm. So here we're seeing it kind of even game here. Those F tilts from Beast are pretty insane. I love that trap. That, that was so a really good, good frame trap. Like yeah. it was it was out of position, but it still forced the air dodge. And right. Tilde yeah. consistently shows his hand that he wants nothing to do with getting hit by those, so he's constantly air dodging. Wow. But to be honest, I, I, I don't see why not, especially with a Charizard hovering around <laughs> you like that. <laughs> yeah, couldn't be me. A big parry there and gonna use it to bait out with the empty hop into the up smash, catching the jump from Tilde. Tilde with a quick response though, two to two. One to one in games, it's about as even as it can get. Yeah, you I'm saw Beast like it, yeah. did that like neck like 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 the whole like come on man. Like why did I not hold shield after Angel Platform invincibility? Right, right. <laughs> Oh, right. yeah, you, good, good luck touching the ground. You just yeah. took 69% for your troubles. Trying to chase them all the way out there. You do have a switch. Wow, what a dominant stock from Tilde. Zero to death after a pretty back, back and forth start. Now he gets to play with them a bit. That was just like 
Great minds think alike, but Tilde just a little bit faster. Both yeah. of them thinking like, well, I'm going to get a down air. However, Tilde did it first and caught Beast jumping from the ledge, and that was it. It was not what you want to see for the Beast fans in the crowd, and this is definitely not what you want to see either. Okay, that's what you want to see. Uh, yo, look, that's not even trolling. That's just optimized. Like, he realized that he's been getting hit by downers a lot. Right. So after that spot dodge, like, you won't expect me to do it again. Yep. No, I'm going to do it again. Exactly. It was the, the, the joy is the best of five, you know? <laughs> Oh, yeah, true. yeah, you got you got to keep them going, especially oh, yeah. in this type of game. And you've seen each other quite a bit over the years, so you got to have the mix-ups. But I am very surprised that Beast Ooh. ran out of it as quickly as possible because I expected an up smash what? on the platform. Tilde's going sick. Finally, Beast got the up air and the stock, but that stock from Tilde was crazy. The combos, the extensions, the, the reads on the defensive Damn. options. Good stuff, good stuff. All right, Charizard time, though. This is what we know him for. Trying to get the reverse hit in there. Oh, that's his other jump. Like, he does get the ledge. That was so close. Had his other other jump. Oh, though. he had the jump red. Almost. And he, almost. He dead. Oh, yeah, he's so dead. Sad. He uh, he 100% believed that after he went for that backer. Actually, we're going to take a look at that when it comes back in a second. And the reason why he did that. So if you look at this here, back throw. Covers the jump. But as he comes he in with the misses, side B, yeah. he expects him to free fall and punish this. But he just missed. Oh. Bro, oh my god. Can we go back? Let, let's go back to that. Look how close, so close this was here. This Pixels off. just missed. That, that how? Should hit, honestly. Buff Sard Flare Blitz. That's all. Bu buff. Buff. Please. Buff that. <laughs> trying to zoom in on his <laughs> help Charizard his poor face going into PS2 sucks. All right. <laughs> <laughs> I love this pick honestly the platforms are good but the battlefield platforms are a different story you know it's so funny I'm saying Flare Blitz sucks after he literally ended the last game on right. a Flare Blitz yeah. shield break it gives it takes you know <laughs> it's a net neutral so far but we got plenty more games probably plenty more Flare Blitzes and so far, a nice little Squirtle combo from Beast. I like to see that. Yeah, it's pretty solid. Even that last trade was still worth it. Like, right. getting them all the way up to 74 already with the Squirtle, beautiful. Keep working this because this is the fastest frame that you got to box with the Falco right now. Exactly. I like just the, all the offensive options from Beast so far have been pretty good, but Tilde's probably going to make me shut up very soon with the combo. We'll yeah, see. true. Yeah, this is this is not even just an up tilt. Like, with how oh. many down airs he's been getting, this is down air right, right. and an aerial away from being an even game, especially if he's still within the window and get dragged down there. I don't know if Squirtle still is in it. Oh, he, okay, he tried okay. to get dragged down fair. So it, it was along the right route, but now he, I'm pretty sure he's out of window now. Okay, well, Ivy's are coming out. I do like all the tilts, like all of the uh, sort of dashing in and tilts for Beast. Really good stuff. Sneaking in the Charizard switch, but now it's a really tense situation here. Up smash almost coming out, but Tilde, so brave. Bro, the surround sound on those speakers when Charizard, like, <laughs> like <laughs> the, I, I, that got me shook for a second. This is KO options, uh, kind of very reckless because of that. You, you have to be very careful with how you approach on shield here. You want the grab, but if it's too obvious, a spot dodge might come. So you're, you're trying so hard to get the read on it, and Beast walks away with it. Oh, wow. Dangerous Armor. spot to he be needs in. It. He needs he, it, bro. He needs it. Poor guy. Putting the pressure on the platform. Falco taking center stage. Fourier going to turn into an edge guard opportunity. He got to maximize on an AG. Uh, oh, big whiff. Now nah, we want to see, especially against Charizard, immediate back throw into the edge guard. But a quick response. Getting into that wonderful Fourier down till percent. Two stocks apiece. Tilde looking a little more comfortable. Beast really coming out of the gates on this game. Bro, literally the best thing that happened for Beast, uh, excuse me, Tilde fans, yeah. is that Beast misplaced that flamethrower. Because yep. if he got that, the jump was already gone. His stock was going to go away. Now we're back at uh, a slight beat, uh, a slight Tilde lead, which could disappear momentarily as he gets. Oh, he did miss the air dodge. He's caught almost all of those. Yes, and it's tough too. He went for the vine up after the air dodge. Sure, I would have expected just another up air. Good dodge from Tilde. Find a way back. The littlest hit of Razor Leaf coming in, and the Shine's coming out to try and combat it. Dude, why is side B so good from Falco? Dude, sure, oh, sure hop side B, leading into a kill confirm, and being able to have that burst. Right. Like, you you, you got to be careful with it. And that's a big part of why we're seeing these Razor Leafs, besides the fact it was in ki like, kill confirm ranges. But that could get him the lead. No, it's not. Still not enough. Oh, all right. And a reversal here. Beast with a rare miss, and just trying to put the pressure on. And you know what? Sometimes you just gotta go to the comfort pick. Sorry, don't miss. <laughs> you gotta go. You gotta play the hits. You know, <laughs> good old fashioned Charizard up smash, taking the stock. Till they trying to answer as fast as possible. And hey then look, Beast playlist may be the same every single time, 
But it works. It's bangers. It's the vibes. That's all you need. <laughs> Down air? That's a vibe. Forward air? Not so much. Bro, you are thick, though. 168? Like, I'm saying, and still not dying. <laughs> a little bit of a flamethrower coming out from Beast, too, when, it, when that trade happened. Ooh. Very interesting. Okay, back throw. Oh, no. Goes for a jump and gets hit with the back air. Okay. I would quad oh, grab. back air on the left side? I'm saying, right? That's. Nope. Coast if, to coast back here. If you DI'd that correctly somehow, good on you. I don't know how you would have gotten that. <laughs> All right, even game though. AG, this is this still could get pushed to a game five. Like this is definitely. still potential for Beast, but till they definitely look a lot better here as he's currently getting cooked. Never mind. I was gonna say, <laughs> he's losing the lead. Like. That's it. Looking better as his lead disappears. Right, right. <laughs> it's the worst he's ever looked. <laughs> <laughs> what a read gets punished. Oh, oh, oh. my god. Dude, the Crazy. match yo, Beast's eyes lit up I'm so saying. far. Like, how did you just get out of my jab lock? That's not allowed. Okay, big opportunity. Nice tech to the right. Oh, Beast was just not ready. The Zard is out down to the wire here in this game four. Yeah, this is still very close. This is big opportunity for Beast to possibly get back into it. He's got him around. This is a fresh up smash, especially if he gets like one fair. Now yep. he's definitely a KO percent. Oh, oh no. he's put himself in a spot, but he got off and the rising fair gets him back on. It's crazy seeing the poise change from Tilde. Once the Ivy Star went away and the Zard came out, all of a sudden he said, you got center stage. I'm going to be way more Th careful. That's you. <laughs> Huge F till. What the heck was that? Oh! <laughs> that was so well placed because if you go too close, you get spiked You're by dead. that side B. Yeah. But he positioned himself perfectly after going always for the ledge. He went for the downer. He went for the flamethrower to control the ledge. And Beast meets him where he didn't expect it here in game four to move this to a game five. Covered that. Smacked him too. That was like the earliest hit of forward air. He put his whole body into that. Bro, that had so much momentum behind that hook. Like, ah, just like amazing job. That was amazing spacing there Good too routing, from Tilde. Sure. Yep. And the Magna hands coming in. This is like such a reversal too. It's just like. I thought it was like so good for Tilde, and then just no, nope, sorry. I switched to Zard and got the shield up. We'll be seeing that stuff. Yeah, that was that was pretty far away too. Actually, I think that might have been maybe a hitbox extension from the back air that right, caught him because right. it did not look like Falco was supposed to get hit by that up smash. But good job from Tilde. I'm excuse me from Beast moving this to a game five. Crazy set already. Definitely a little more what I expected than that last set. Mm -hmm. With all due respect, I expect that last set to be a nail biter too. I was a little disappointed, but I immediately was relieved with this wonderful Yeah, we definitely started that up. Like, hey, by the way, you know, Link beats every nest, but PK pit Chris beat and him then, last time. Yeah, and now, now I don't And then, oops. If I got to commentate that matchup again, I'm not, I don't know what to say. I, I wouldn't know what to say. He beat him two times ago. Like, that's not a narrative. Come on. All right, going into town. City KK is on deck, bringing us to the end, almost, of this GamerCon bracket. Hopefully, uh, I, don't, I don't know. It could be anyone's end. If either of these players, they both want to go on, they both want to make a statement, but unfortunately they had to meet up here on this loser's Hey man, KK Slider, match. best on the ones and twos, but only yep. one of these two is going to be moving forward past this round. Only game number five left for both of them, possibly here in the loser's side of CTA GamerCon. And this is Ooh. a Smash World Tour silver qualifying event, hey. so these points do matter. Both these players, I'm sure, want to start collecting those points ASAP. Some A tier, oh, oh, S tier oh, players, oh. in my opinion. But I'm town, saying, you right? dead there, bro. Oh yeah. Oh, we have a bunch of S tier players in the building, man. I like it. This is the best racket. Not on. People don't know about as we see that call out from the center stage punish from that side B, and Beast takes an early lead. Love that. Huge. Finally punishing those middle of the stage side Bs. <laughs> and uh, I don't know. It's, it's so tough to be in this situation though. Like. You feel so confident after taking that first stock, and until he comes down and immediately starts beating you up, yeah. it's hard to stay composed. As we're kind of seeing right here, but B's still looking good. Charizard, big forward here. Hello. Tilde is one of those people, man. Like when he loses a stock, be prepared. The gas right. pedal is going to be pushed down oh, yeah. to full because he wants that lead back asap. Obviously, it's just smart to use your invincibility in general, but it's even more scared. <laughs> it's even more. Uh, it's like a worse situation with Tilde, right? Like uh -huh. one opening is going to be this huge combo, probably the stock, whatever the situation calls for. It's pretty tough, but B still holding oh. on. Tilde not able to get the hits, and this, this is dangerous. Dude, AG, this is so scary right now because one okay, back okay, air. Okay, okay, now it's not we're as fine, frightening fine. because He's he finally got rid of that. First and a forward air, Beast have started going up and down. Like, all right. Yeah, he's like, no, all right, you all got right. it, you got it. But Town and City. Plus 150 plus Zard equal bad time for other person. Oh, oh, so yeah. till they able to shut that down, only taking 46% at that too. Good use of the water gun here, but till they still find the way in, get a couple of down airs, get that percentage on, trying to even it back up. Just jab. So brave. Hey, simplicity is key, man. Yeah. Especially right there. Like, look, I know you're gonna match or grab, so I'm gonna meet you for it. 
I'm not going to lie, I thought Pokemon Trainer was one of the, the villagers. <laughs> First, I forgot that she's in the back there. <laughs> oh, yeah, Le Leaf is really just living her best right. life back yeah. there, just, like, enjoying the party. She's at Gracie Grace right now <laughs> on a uh -oh. spree. Okay. Good pressure off stage here. Making it back to stage. Got to be dead here. No, I would have I just that was Yeah, that was a good fadeaway. Honest, I mean, with how often it's been connecting before, I'm saying, that right? upstairs might have connected right there. <gasps> what oh. a crazy oh Woo! my goodness the whole thing the, that falling aerial the grab the follow-up that was so well played from beast wasting no time whatsoever going off stage with that forward air beast fans definitely feeling it but the back air hey, not yo. enough for tilde to get the kill tilde can definitely okay. take him out with one shield poke bear which he did try to find right there mm -hmm. and we got the side b coming in to try and get out of the corner and big up smash it kills it starts the combo oh, that back air bro lyric in the crowd already pop it off that, that back was so was close hit. to stealing the game yeah. like like that was the edge of the platform, Town and City, in yep. Sweet Spot Bear. You were dead. Definitely. Speaking of which, you're dead. And we're at one stock apiece. Game number five here. And finally, the Beast lead. I haven't seen a lot of that coming into these last stock situations. Tilde making sure we don't see it for too long either. Combo coming together, but Beast now on the front foot. Okay. AG, who's the closer in this situation? 79% on Tilde's side, but he can even that right back up with one string. You see, he's trying to find it with the mm -hmm. down air. He's trying to just space him out, get him on a jump, and he gets the nair even after the parry because of the multi hits. This is going to even the game right up. Oh, that dodge, probably necessary, but it's just going to extend the combo in the other direction. Tilde with the down tilt, the forward air. Oh my oh, god, he the can't pressure. touch the ground. Pressure. He's got, I think, one jump left even after all. All those, so he's got to go straight to ledge. He's got to watch out for the option from Tilde. Tilde looking for a jump. Gets him with the forward and pushes him off stage. All right, just going to take those lasers. He's kind of got to. Sneaking in to try and get around these aerials. The pressure is crazy. The roll in, that forward air is still connecting. Oh, he's trying so hard to get stage control right now. He wants, all he needs is just a, like maybe platform 15% huge here. and up smash works. That Down platform throw, that's huge. The back air, he was looking, but the tech out from Tilde was so smart. Landing with the forward air, knocks Beast back off stage. This is so close. One shield poke fair takes it as he tries to find it right there. He's trying to find an air. Options out of shield. <laughs> Going out, up smash is not enough off the top of the town and city. This is one mistake away from either one of them taking this game. Fourth throw could possibly right, be KO, as well as back throw at the ledge, too. Rolls back in. It's so brave. That forward air into the down tilt is going to take it. Wow. Late hit forward air. Down tilt coming in. Handshakes going out. Incredible game for both of them. Beast did everything he could to try and get him to swing on shield. He's dealt punishes on that way, up smash every time. But look at where he tried to, like, he tried to space him with the forward tilt to catch him in the ground and Tilde finally finds it. And we're it. talking like micro spacing. That forward tilt was so close to hitting Tilde. It just missed. That was all of the difference. And I want to talk about how important do the MVP of that match, the town and city platforms. Yeah. Because there were so many situations. Beast should have just lost a stock. But the town and city platforms came in a clutch. We see them used for Tilde too. The routes that they give people, the tech chase opportunities, the, all that stuff is just so so important. We can definitely see why it worked out as the counter pick. Yeah, Love. and there was one opportunity as well in this last stock yeah. that we uh, won't get to because it didn't happen with the stock, but Tilde got knocked onto that side platform and it was on the far right. Right. Beast right. had rage. That back air sweet spot there, you, been it. you're dead. You're dying at 47 to that back air. That would have been it, but he just missed it by like this much. Gave Tilde an opportunity to come back in, and we all know how frustrating it can be mm -hmm. when you get hit one time when you had an 80% lead, and Falco says, yeah, that's cute. Uh, I'm still in the game. 